How do you do triangle pose or in Sanskrit Trikonasana? That's the pose we are going to tutorial today. Hi everyone, if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Jimmy Barkin. I've been teaching hot yoga since 1981. I was Bikram's most senior teacher for over 18 years. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button anytime you're enjoying this video. It really helps out the video, boosts it up into the algorithm. Triangle pose in Sanskrit, tree, which is three in Sanskrit, and in some parts of Jersey, I got tree and con K O N is angle. So tree kanasana, three angle or triangle pose. Now there are many different forms of triangle. The Krishmacharyans, who I've referred to many times in my other videos, a Yangar, a Shtanga, a lot of the vinyasa styles came from the Krishmacharyan lineage. They do a straight leg triangle. We don't, we do a right angle or a bent leg triangle. So we're gonna go into the studio with Barkin teacher Elena, and I'm gonna go in detail on how to do this pose. And we're gonna talk a lot about opposite directions, which is a very important component in many of the yogic asanas, not all of them, but many. Almost 80 or 90% of the postures, we wanna find the opposite direction. So let's go to the studio on Pompano Beach and explore this pose. So here we are with Barkin teacher Elena, and we're going to revisit the triangle pose, but we got to look at Warrior Two because that really sets it up. In the Bikram world, they don't call it Warrior Two; they just go right to that pose and then do the triangle. So I like to exaggerate Warrior Two to get the foundation set in position. So feet together, arms overhead. She steps out four feet with her arms down. One motion. If you're a teacher, I like to do the clap. Come back for a second; they can see what that's like. Arms down, arms overhead. Big step to the right, go. Nice and strong. Pivot on the right heel, and she comes down into warrior two. So the weight's on the big toe mound of that right foot. Ball the foot where the big toe is. And the outside knife edge of that foot. So if I were to step on her foot, pull her hand, tell her to resist me. Hold the wrist and tell her to resist me. Now we're doing a little more hands-on now that the pandemic is almost over. As a teacher, this is a great one to do. You tell them to resist you, push on the foot, and just pull. And now she can get nice and low, where the right thigh is parallel to the floor, and the left hip is slightly turned in. This is the difference between Bikram and Barkin. I like the left hip slightly turned in as she looks over the fingertips of her right hand, and now the foundation is set. So now before Elena turns her foot, this is something that's really important. If you pivot on your toes and bring your heel forward, now you're off position. You're now heel to toe. We want to be heel to heel, so go back for a second. Now what she's gonna do is lift her toes and turn on her heel, and now she stays heel to heel. Chris Macharing has to do this posture heel to arch. We do it heel to heel. Don't turn on your toes to bring your heel forward. Turn on your heel to bring your toes back. So now that the foundation is set, She's gonna look over her left shoulder, which sets the chin. I learned that from Emmy Cleves, one of the wonderful Bikram senior teachers who taught me the advanced class. That sets the chin, and now she doesn't move her upper body, she tilts her arms in one motion. So let's come back for a second, Elena. Here's the big problem. People let their left hip rise, and they try to drop their arms down to touch the foot. Now the hip's too high, and the chest is too low. So what I do as a teacher is hold their head and their arm and tell them to lift up here, hold their head with my hand, and drop this down. Head up, hip down. Now in the Vikram world, they have you touch your big toe with your right hand. Do that for me, Elena. If you touch the big toe, in my personal opinion, depending on your anatomy, in Western anatomy, it brings the upper body a little too low. So what I do instead is touch the top of the foot that brings the upper body higher because what we want is this tourniquet effect, Bikram used to say. All the blood is going from the left side to the right, or she comes to the other side, or right side to the left. So when the upper body is higher, the hip is lower, there's more of an energy or circulation shift taking place. Now here's another big difference between Bikram and Barkin. In the Bikram world, they want you to bring this hip back to square. I don't like it. I like the hip slightly forward. 
slightly forward. From here, as they bring the hip forward, the upper body now can rotate this way. But I'm holding her legs in place so the hip doesn't move, and the upper torso has this opposite direction taking place for the thoracic vertebra to rotate. It's like a standing spine twist motion. And we magically turn to the other side to give Elena a little bit of a break. So there's three triangles we gotta look at. First is the inner triangle here, top of the thigh, underneath the arm. That's why, again, why we want the upper body a little higher and the hip a little bit lower. So we have this triangle carved out. And now we have the outside triangle. This is the vertical line, right arm to the left, the horizontal line, left foot to the right, and this is the key. The diagonal line, right foot all the way up to the shoulder, to the hand. The diagonal line defines the triangle, the outside triangle, that's what we're trying to create and form. Here's a trick I learned from Elise Miller, who a wonderful Iyengar teacher I met on the Yoga Journal circuit. If your neck crunches and you're trying to touch your chin to your shoulder, here's the trick I learned from Elise. Your right ear goes to your shoulder, and now just rotate your head around so the chin is now lined up much better with the shoulder and the back and the neck vertebra are in place. Let's take a look at it from the other side. Now from this angle, She's crunched. She brings her ear to her shoulder, rotates her head, and now you can see her back and neck vertebra are all in line. It's all that pressure off the neck. So that's our episode for today. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Any comments, put them down below. I get to all the comments. And I thank you for watching. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.